Y'all yeah, said, let there be light. Still Mills Dizzle, man. Checking back in with y'all, man. Just left Godfather's Pizza. My Omaha niggas know what it is with Godfather's, man. But yo, peep game, man. Shout out to Dillian White, man. Um, I was wrong on my prediction. I, I thought um that that weight loss and everything and considering how the last fight ended, he would try to take him into deep deep water and drown him and just went on points. And if he did get the knockout, it happened in the championship rounds. Ah. Could have never been more wrong. <laughs> Ooh, man. Um, it ain't even really too much to break down, man. Um, the first round, it was real hectic in there, man. Um, they were off balance. Pavekin, like they both looked sloppy coming out the gate. Pavekin landed like a chopping shot, and his his wrist landed on like Dillian White's back or something, and he got knocked off balance. Like Pavekin got knocked off balance. Like I'm, it was just real. Just like they wanted to get in there. Like, I, let me get a few shots up. I'm gonna force a few shots because you know I just, I just gotta find my range. I gotta, I gotta find my arc before you know I gotta do that right now. Just straight off, just straight off the gate, man. Just go up and launch a few bad shots. Hand all in your face. Double team. Just get a few shots up so you can go ahead and get in rhythm. And later on down the line, start scoring. You know. That's what that shit reminded me of, man. They just went in there and just kind of went balls to the wall and just kind of start swinging for the fences, man. And they both looked sloppy in there at first, man. And had uh, Pavekin been a bit more of a sharper puncher, if not even Pavekin, if either one of them had a just, yeah, no, I can't even say that because Dillian White landed a clean left hook on the inside in the first round in that sloppy exchange. But it was just, it was horrible, man. Like, but, Dilly, you know, the second round, Dillian White got on his, you know, I thought he was going to work off the jab the whole entire fight. I thought he was going to really work off the jab the entire fight. And, he, you know, he, you know, he worked the jab. He, you know, he, and he did good work, you know, real good work with the jab, man. He stayed behind the jab slightly, but he was still trying to find, like, he was still trying to sneak something serious in there. It was a lot of winging chopping overhand rights that he was trying to land even on the body shots man he would throw them right straights load up on the right straights to the body he came in there off that man's head and in the second round i want to say he threw this beautiful one two down the pike and it put up you know uh, you know it it, it 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 um caused a mouse up under Pavekin's eye i was like at that moment i was like yeah bro this ain't going this this ain't going 12. This ain't going 10. This ain't making it past, you know, you know, I don't know how long it's going to go, but it probably ain't getting past the middle rounds, bro. He was in there trying to hurt that dude. And in the fourth or the fifth, I forget which round it was, but he got, he got him out of there in devastating fashion, man, and got his get back. Man, man, salute to Dillian White. I'm happy you did it. I just, I just started with, I thought, you know, with that weight loss, you would try and stretch the fight out a little bit more and really, really take him into deep water and drown. Because even at the weigh-ins, man, Pavekin didn't look like his normal, you know, cut-up self, man. He looked like he, you know, the bottom half of his midsection was a little bit pudgy. Like, he just, I don't know, man. He's, he's just kind of like, the his aura in this fight has just kind of been like, I don't think he had the same hunger as uh, Dillian White going into this fight. Dillian White went in there like, nah, my nigga, you got me fucked up. Dillian White went in there like, you got lucky and you not about to get lucky again. You dig? Um, and, you know, even leading up to this fight, man, he talking, I don't know if he had COVID or not, man. He be lying and he be fronting like he a nice guy. He intentionally created certain, um, certain, certain, certain paradigms in his head to make him not like him in this fight to go in there and want to beat him up that much more. Which I don't think he needed to do that anyway, man. Because Dillian White just comes off as a dude who just like don't be, he don't really fuck with nobody. <laughs> like I hate that nigga. I hate that. If I, man, if you're in my division, I hate you. So it was good to see him get that get back, man. Um, they're talking about him and Wilder. I really hope that fight happens, man. Because that's something that we, that's a fight that needs to go down. That's a fight that needs to go down. The winner of that get, you know. Um, I don't even think the winner of it should get Andy Ruiz. I think the winner of that should just, all right, cool, cool. It's only March, so yeah, winner of that gets Andy Ruiz. But I think White is focused on a title shot. He wants a title shot. 
So I ain't trying to keep going through motherfuckers again. I've done that. He's done that enough in his career. So I want my title shot. I respect that. I respect that. You dig? But Fury and Joshua are gonna be tied up for the rest of the year. So I know you ain't trying to get a title shot super, you know, you know, next year. That's a lot of time off. But hey, you know, if you want that title shot and you feel confident in the fact that you think you'd be able to tussle with Andy Ruiz when he beats Chris Ariola. And when you beat Deontay Wilder, or if you beat Deontay Wilder, I ain't about to count Wilder out like that. And I don't know. But all in all, man, salute to Dillian White. Excellent knockout. Excellent knockout. Excellent performance. After the first round, of course. <laughs> After the first round, I'm, you know, that first round was horrific. That first round was horrific, man. The whole round, man. I was like, yo, what am I watching? But immediately in the second round, how you how you started to establish the jab and work off of the jab. That, I, mean, I thought you would do it the whole fight, but, you know, you proved me to be a liar. You proved me to be a liar. You know, you didn't... <laughs> you didn't even tap dance or whatever. You just, you know... You, <laughs> you just popped the jab around about mid distance, man. And you know, it was a really well timed jab, man. It was it was it, man, Dillian White is nice, man. It was Dillian White is nice. I'm just happy you got that you got that get back. You rectified that loss from last year. You was at November. On the greener pastures, man. On the greener pastures. And I really hope you get Deontay Wilder. I really hope that fight goes down. You and Wilder goes down. I need that fight to happen more so than anything. Cause man, that's gonna be a barn burner, man. That's gonna the 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 the, the face offs and the press conferences, man. That shit gonna be lit, man. I don't think you finna bite your tongue. I, I think you finna let it be known, like yo. But he, I think you gonna really drag out disrespect that nigga and Wilder feeling already disrespected because of everything that's going on with him it's just gonna be a volcano eruption in that motherfucker i know this is not no little kid walking in the street by herself man what is wrong with these people here uh nah she ain't no kid nah that's a grown-ass woman but um yeah shout out to dillian white man i'm happy to see you got this win in the fashion that you got it in you ain't sleeping, but man, you you it was brutal how you stopped him. So I'm waiting to see what's next for your good brother. Like and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think, man. Peace.